Hi friends and welcome to the very first episode of my Adulting Diaries. Just recently I've started another exciting chapter of my life journey, a PhD program in Paris and I invite you to share these moments from the first weeks with me. Take a cup of tea and enjoy. Basically, I'm going back from my meeting with ladies. They all have kids, they're all they're grown ups. They are talking about problems and how to solve them, how to solve them with like not just going and doing it, but like psychologically aware of what you're doing and like how you are treating yourself. And for me, that's been amazing because I'm young, I have never confronted yet any burnout or something. I learned a lot, definitely. Yeah, so lately I've started to take my life seriously. I mean, not that I've never done it before, I've always been obsessed with planning, organizing and that kind of stuff. But this time, several weeks before starting my new research contract, I decided to get better with growing up stuff. Um, how to get more stable in physical, emotional and financial understandings, how to ground, how to find balance, how to take care of myself and loved ones, how to be responsible for your own little world. Okay, the funny thing is that we got manifestations today and there is no way to get to the place where I need. It is so easy to get overwhelmed with daily use and mundane tasks, little issues that constantly run through your to-do list and it's a lot harder to get off this button track of aimlessly running forward. So that's what I'm trying to do during this week. Wow, it's been such a week. It's so nice to feel, finally, that I'm a part of a community, that I have someone to reference to, and yeah, that I'm not just like abstract person in the world. It's so nice to be representing a community. Well, I've thought of it before, but I never actually realized it before I started to feel it myself. This need for, yeah, for just being a part of something. I guess during the last two years, I've been like a little bit everywhere and nowhere at the same time. I mean, I've been not understood in the community of like cultural management. And at the same time, I've been a little bit of an outsider of the research world because I didn't have a lab to represent, well, officially. And now it feels like I've created a space that I always needed. So I finally found a minute to share my first impression on the PhD. It's been it's been great so far. Yeah, the institute is very organized, especially in comparison with the masters that have been doing for the last two years. And everyone knows what to do at what time, at what place, and it's just a bit amazing. So during the whole week, it's been mostly trainings, so I can't like figure out the whole impression yet. So we got our badges, uh, we got several trainings um, at the institute on campus and like everywhere about uh, general things as well as things related to the project and we've got several meetings already uh, about the project and then just uh, meetings of the whole institute at some point over the summer over the last semester there are several people who got huge national grants and basically the session was to tell everyone in like very simple and accessible way of what the project is going to be about and like to gather feedback, to gather questions because everyone working at the institute now, they all work on audition and hearing, but they work 
from different perspectives. For example, ours is cognitive perspective. Maybe there is someone else who's working on mice, on implants. Uh, maybe someone's working on modeling of sound. The same subject, but there's various professionals there. Yeah, so it's been great to get to know people who are like PIs of the laboratories and who are very like, yeah, great researchers in general, I would assume, because I'm not in the field yet. Uh, yeah, and we've got a meeting also with uh, our adjoint laboratory, which is in another country, because our PI, she's kind of coming from one uh, country to another, and she's like taking over several things at once. In uh, the other laboratory, there are more senior people, mostly postdocs, just several around finishing PhD students, and even some of the, yeah, like, um, assistant professor, I guess she was. And in our lab, it's been mostly PhD students, one master student and one uh, postdoc as well. I guess that's it. And I'll bring you to the several few months or weeks. I don't know how it goes. Let's see, um, to see what's going on and how life is going. <laughs> that's it. I'm continuing my journey and I hope to bring you with me and just show uh, around a little bit uh, the laboratory and like the conditions that i'm staying i don't want to like necessarily name the laboratory or the institute i'm working with but i guess if you're super curious it's very easy to google it yeah so we'll see where this phd adventure brings me maybe in three years <laughs> hopefully i finish it or maybe in four we'll see um yeah and i'll keep you updated see you and bye for now